Today we have a very yellow Ferrari 360 Modena in uh, for an exhaust system. This is the original system um, and basically it's blown its guts out of it. So it's very loud on the track and they want it quite quiet because they take it on track quite often. So we're going to make an exhaust system that meets their requirements. Yeah. Ready? So we're making a custom silencer for the 360 today. Uh, a silencer consists of a few components, quite simple really. We have uh, two end caps, um, they've got two two holes in it, because uh, it's, it's a V8, it's obviously it's got two twin pipes coming through. We have some perforated tube, uh, this is a bit bigger than the tube we're going to use, but just for uh, demonstration purposes. So inside the silencer, the exhaust gas will flow through this tube this way. Um, the noise vibrations will actually be a flow through the perforated holes in the tube into some glass packing. Now the packing looks a bit like this. It comes on a roll like this. As you can see, it's just matting. It's actually good bits of glass fibre um, all matted together. And that gets wrapped around the perforated tube. Um, and absorbs the noise without melting, basically. <laughs> Around the outside of those bits of pipe and end caps, uh, you need the actual silencer body, which we roll out of a bit of sheet, which looks something like this. See, it's just a hollow tube, a bit like a bin. <laughs> so as we've got quite a large cylinder here, uh, made out of relatively thin material. As you can imagine, it's quite flexible. Which is why we put something like this, which are swages in the outside of the sheet's metal. Um, and this gives it a lot more strength. I'll demonstrate now. No more squashing. So we finished the exhaust system on the Ferrari F360 and um, we were told to make it as quietly, quiet as humanly possible um, so we made a custom, ex custom silencer for the exhaust um, we got quite tight pipe work coming in here obviously because we've got quite a large silencer so the pipe work has to be quite tight to fit in the, in the gaps um, it comes up from one side of the engine passes through the silencer and then out and that tailpipe, so that tailpipe is actually that bank of the engine and vice versa the other side. 